Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us construct a scale for the given data. Here the question is construct a scale of 1 is to 54 to show adds and feet and long enough to measure 9 adds. Okay, here we have to construct one scale. Scale means it, we can measure by using that scale. What we have to measure by using in it? It, ha, it should show adds and feet. Here the scale is showing centimeters and millimeters. Here our scale should show adds and feet. Okay, one add is equal to three feet. So always remember here I will write. This scale should show adds and feet. Okay, only two units, consecutive units are there. So the type of scale is plane scale we are constructing. Okay. And then the RF value has given 1 is to 54. So RF is nothing but representative factor. I have written here. It is equal to 1 by 54. Okay. And then what the next given data? And long enough to measure 9 adds. By using that scale, we have to measure maximum 9 adds. Okay. It is the limit. By using this normal scale, we can measure up to 30 centimeter by using this scale. Here we have to construct one scale. It can measure up to 9 adds. Okay. Let us do the scale. For doing the scale, we should know the length. Okay. So we need to calculate that length. I am taking it is a drawing length. We can do on the drawing sheet. Okay. It is a drawing length. We have to calculate the drawing length by using this RF value. So RF is nothing but it is a ratio of drawing length to the actual length. Actual length means maximum limit of that scale. Drawing length means the length we can draw on the drawing sheet. Okay. It is equal to already given RF is 1 by 54 like this. Here we need to calculate how much length we have to do for the scale. Keep as it is drawing length. One by fifty-four. This will be as it is into actual length. One by fifty-four. What is the actual length? What is the maximum limit of the scale? It is nine adds. This value is nothing but drawing length. We are doing on the sheet. We are doing on the sheet in terms of centimeters. Okay. Convert this also in centimeters. Okay. So here write down 1 by 54 into 9 yards. 1 yard is 3 feet. I already I told. Write down 3 feet. Okay. So write as it is 1 by 54 into 9 into 3. Here take 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. Okay. So write down here 12 inches. Here I will write 1 by 54 into 9 into 3 into 12. Here it is coming in inches. So 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters into 2.54 centimeters. Okay, do the entire thing with Kelsey. Cancel the small values. 3, 2, 2, 6, 12. 6 into 2.54. Here we are getting value is 15.24 centimeters. So drawing length is 15.24 centimeters. Here we need to do the one line of 15.24 centimeter. Mark the end points. 15.24 mark approximately. Okay. Join end points. Give the names A and B. Okay. This 15.24 centimeter line is nothing but maximum limit of the scale. It is 9 adds. Okay, so divide this 9 adds line into 9 equal divisions. So each part is 1 1 add. Now one procedure of dividing a line into required number of parts. First we have to take one inclined line. This angle should be less than 90 degrees. Just do one inclined line. No need to measure the angle here. This angle should be less than 90. Okay, now after doing the line by using compass, take some radius. Okay. Divide this into 9 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Take this last intersection point. Join this point to B point by using the scale. Here just extend the line for getting the intersection point, this point. We join this point to B by using the scale. 
so with drafter keep the drafter scale here fix the drafter move the drafter scale at all the points for getting the parallel lines okay here i am using roller scale do the parallel lines at all the points so here we have divided this length into nine parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine equal divisions we did after that for any scale we have to give some width it is called arbitrary width take 1 cm here at a take 1 cm and similarly at b also take the same height take this is the reference join these two ends so here this scale got the thickness do the corner names a b already we have given c and d okay at these intersection points do the vertical lines okay take this is the reference so we have divided the scale into in terms of boxes equal length of boxes mark the intersection points here here i will start from this point 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at the b point 8 okay so here each part is 1 1 yard okay from 0 to 8 8 yards 8 boxes here one yard total length is 9 yards after doing this 9 yards scale here take the middle point okay here also take the middle point of this box Okay, as I told, it is one centimeter. Middle means five mm. Okay, and mark this side also five mm. Okay, and here do the middle line. Okay, keep at the middle point. And here give the line, not continuous line. Do line for the first box and leave this box empty. And next alternate boxes we are doing the line. Let us see. First box we have to do the line. and next box not necessary here and give this box divide this box into half and keep it keep as it is this box like that we have to mark the lines for alternative boxes like this take one yard i am taking the first yard i will divide this into three parts three parts means i am dividing this yard into three fields okay so divide the first part into three equal divisions here we have to follow the same process we have to do the inclined line we have to divide this into three parts instead of doing this side i will do this side okay so just at d point do one inclined line take this angle is less than 90 okay by using compass take little radius not bigger one because i am dividing this small space okay for small space take small radius approximately any radius divide this into three parts inclined line one Two, three. Join this last point to this point with the help of scale, like this. Now at these points also do the lines parallel to this line. Okay. So keep the scale like this. If drafter scale is there, fix the drafter scale there, and move the drafter scale here like this. I am using roller scale. Do one line here. Do one line here. This intersection points dividing this length into three equal divisions. One, two, three. Okay, mark these points here also on A O. Just take this as reference line at all the points. Do the lines like this. Here, do the parts, not the entire line, only half of the box. Okay, as shown in the diagram here. Okay, here. also do the alternate lines like this okay so start take the middle point of this length half of the length okay 5 mm it is in 5 mm take the middle point that is 2.5 mm approximately 2.5 mm here also 2.5 mm okay so join these two middle points but here joining also alternate boxes do the line for the first box leave it empty next box here do the line okay alternate boxes so always remember at zero do the line after the zero do the line and this box is empty okay 
so here we have divided this into three divisions so i will mark zero here one here two here three here at a point okay so this side it is feet this side it is ads just write down ads and feet by using the parallel lines this side we can measure ads this side we can measure feet okay write down rf is equal to how much it has given 1 is to 54 so you can write here 1 is to 54 so according to the question this plane scale is showing ads and then feet and the entire scale can measure up to 9 ads 9 ads means so from this place to this place the gap is 9 ads in this scale we had to mark for example 6 ads 2 feet okay so how to mark this value so 6 ads means from 0 to 6 okay first ad second ad third ad fourth ad fifth ad sixth ad at 6 do the vertical line you can call it as extended line at 6 ads and then 2 feet this side feet so 1 2 at 2 do the vertical line up to some length so in this gap mark the dimension take this as a reference do the line mark the arrows at both sides so mark this value mark the dimension at the middle of the dimensional line 6 ads 2 feet okay like that we can mark the dimension in the given scale as i told it is a plane scale the diagonal scale videos also we did in the last classes for the link please check the description box if you like this lecture please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching